Finally, when you're 200 years old, you've seen pandemics come and go. But the more things change, the more they stay the same for the Union Chain Bridge on the border between England and Scotland. Built in 1820, it still carries traffic over the River Tweed today, the eve of its 200th birthday. Claire McNeil has been to see what makes it so special. A web of iron spanning almost 450 feet across the River Tweed. For two centuries, this bridge has connected communities north and south of the border. It's the oldest bridge of its kind to still be in use today, and many believe that's a feat worth celebrating. It's really the father of all the chain bridges, all the suspension bridges in the world. So the ones in America, the ones in Japan. It was the first suspension bridge of its type in the world to carry vehicles. And as you can see, cars still drive across it today. It's a wonderful piece of engineering history. It was designed by Samuel Brown, who was in the Royal Navy, and he was wanting to prove the strength of his iron so that the Navy would take it as chains to replace the ropes on the sailing ships. So just the strength of this bridge proves his point. Back in 1820, when this bridge was built, it was used to carry essential lime and coal from Northumberland to landowners in Berwickshire. And today it still serves as a vital link between communities north and south of the border. And in June, it was awarded a Guinness World Record for the oldest road suspension bridge, still carrying traffic 200 years later. Work to restore this iron relic was due to begin in February, but due to the pandemic, it never got underway. The £10 million project is due to restart in September to ensure this bridge is still standing in centuries to come. Claire McNeil, ITV News at the Union Chain Bridge.